What's up everybody, how you doing? Ryan Napton here with Gary Watts again and today I want to just have a chat with getting really good at snowboarding. One of the things that I've thought about is purposely being a nerd on the hill, purposely doing weird things on the board, you know, getting out of our comfort zone of what's like perfectly balanced and all that. Like this morning I was thinking of it because it was pretty flat light this morning and how often am I doing some weird things where people have literally la are laughing at me from the chairlift, I kid you not, side slipping down, doing weird things with my arms, doing just goofy stuff, creating ranges of motion on a balance over my nose and tail, and just being, you know, getting out of that, slowing it down, and just doing weird stuff on the board to explore the possibilities on the nose and tail and your range of motions with it. Because if you're always just staring, I often see people just skidding down, skid, 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 and they're just, you know, they're doing that all day, every day. Where if you just slow it down and work on some new things and purposely dork it up, be falling here and there, gentle with those falls, slow speed's gonna help, but that'll help your overall snowboarding thoughts and then let's capture some dorky ass nerd stuff. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, that's a really great idea and definitely something you should experiment with and it'll help you to really dial in your own style with your riding. Um, being able to explore that range over your board and test the limits a little bit and you will end up in the snow from time to time and that's part of the journey for sure. Um, it's by testing those limits you're able to really find what you can truly do and, and the limits of your performance on your equipment. Uh, and I know a lot of people ask Ryan about his gear and uh, like the setup, things like that. Um, and like getting a cu custom Donic at times, right? And if you know what the limits of your performance on your gear are, that helps to dial you in on that quest as well when you're shopping for gear, uh, shopping for new boards and stuff like that. Along the lines of how much fun it can be too, some of the most fun I've had the last couple summers snowboarding or the entire years was the very end at Mount Hood when we're there and the very ends when we're of the runs when we're just milking it and challenging people to work on weird little things and it's just been a blast doing that. Yeah, tons of fun. This Whoops, the GoPro battery died, but uh, let's nerd this up, Gary. Yeah. Will you take of Mount Hood during the summer. So uh, when it's flat light up there, we often see 
the elite level racers, Olympians, future Olympians, Junior Worlds team members, top of the top training on the glacier during the summer. And when it's flat light, they're doing drills like we've seen them taking off a ski and working through the course on a single ski. Other drills where they're switching to an inside or outside edge or just weird playing around with their edges through the gates. Two slowing it down, playing on their skis, learning what's possible on it, and then taking that, those skills, and applying it on a very high level. And heck, it's kind of the same thing we're doing, just dork around playing on our snowboards, on a single plank. Yep, for sure. Um, and so with the racers, it's pretty cool for them to be able to work through some of those drills to dial in that edge control. And they're pretty focused on a singular goal. For us, a lot of times, it's that ability to move on your snowboard that's going to open up the door for you to be able to access more terrain on the mountain to be able to really do more on that terrain. So mm -hmm. if you want to get up to the high alpine stuff and make the most of it, have a blast up there. Um, be able to like rip through a few moguls to get to a good powder stash, for example, or riding through the trees and have a good time with that. All that entails having to move a lot on your board while it is moving down the hill, right? To be able to maximize that control, whether it's with your edges, the base of the board, a combination of those. But really opens the doors to taking the level up a few notches on your experience while you're out there. Yep. And your experience, it will be more enjoyable because a lot of times flat light, yeah, it's just like, oh, this ain't hard charging carbon weather for me. I can't see every single thing on the runs. But by always just loving and enjoying being out here, oh my gosh, it just makes it so much more fun on those sunny days when I've already worked through a lot of these motions and then can take some higher speeds to these buttering things and playing around and learning new things. So I wish you the best and have, I hope you just slow it down sometimes and actually purposely play around with being a dork on the hill. Purposely look like a nerd. You'll learn something new about you and your snowboard and how it can be ridden so true sometimes you got to go slow to go fast yeah so thank you all for watching Geary thank you for joining me today and uh, you know happy shredding and goodbye